Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, I'm not doing some bass fishing today. I'm actually fishing after a different freshwater species. And this one's like next level, like top tier, hardest fighting, most aggressive, and like biggest freshwater fish out there. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to see what it is. But I actually got a buddy out here, a man, Matt, right there. He actually found me on social media and realized that we live pretty close. So we came out here and we're doing some fishing together and we're gonna try to catch these elusive fish. So you guys just stay tuned. It's, it's gonna be crazy. All right, guys, we've spotted the fish, the most aggressive fish of all freshwater. They're right here. Let's see if I can get them to bite. There are a bunch of bluegill on beds here. They gotta eat it, at least one of them does. Oh yeah, oh, he's got it. Yup. Just sight fishing them on beds, that's so fun, man. That's what you like to see. Oh, calm down, bud, calm down. Chill out, little guy. Such a mad little fish right there. He's crushing a little worm. Just dug up some worms outside, put it on a tiny hook with a little split shot. And that's how you catch a bluegill. I mean, pretty sure we all know how to do that. They're not that difficult, but they're a lot of fun. They are really aggressive though. Like all jokes aside, like they are aggressive fish. Only if they were a little bit bigger. Got all tangled here. There's a ton of gillers out here. There's one on the bed right here. If I just jiggle it in his face, he, I missed him. I missed him. Another bed right there. I just like jiggle it like super fast. That's when they get like pissed off. That's what it seems like to me from the two minutes I've been doing this. There we go, finally I hooked him. There we go, I literally hooked him like four times. Well, I didn't hook him, but he bit it like four times and spit it like before I could even think about setting the hook. That's how like slick he was. But he was on a bed, he was super pissed. Beautiful little giller right there. Just gotta love catching. Really? You're gonna do that? Just gotta love catching little gills, so much fun. See you later, bud. Put him right back on his bed. I just had to take a break from bass fishing and come out here and catch some bluegill, like the good old days, you know? There's another bed right here. There's actually a lot of beds right here. This guy's looking, oh, this guy's gonna, is he gonna bite it? I don't know, some of them just don't want it. Yeah, you're gonna eat it. Oh yeah, you ate it, you ate it. There he goes. This is some pretty decent bluegill, guys. Calm down, chill out, little, chill out, Bill. Chill out, oh gosh, stop fish slapping me, my man. I mean, that's a pretty decent sized bluegill right there. You'll love to see it. Oh, really now? He crushed it. He cr oh, how did, I, how did I fail the hook set? Like I see him eat it, it's in his mouth and I still end up not hooking him. How is this not like annoying you? Oh, he bit it. He bit it, he got mad. I still failed the hook set though. I thought I'd come fish for bluegill because it'd be easy, but I'm more, struggling more than I do with bass. Oh, he ate, he ate it, oh my gosh. Right at shore, I didn't even see that one, honestly. I was just, really now, buddy. That's cool. Quick release, easy enough. I'm determined to get this one to bite. He just keeps looking at it. If I piss him off just enough, he might do it. He did it, yep. See, you just gotta stick it in their face for like a few seconds. Get the polarized glasses out. I can't speak. Got the polarized glasses on now, the hog hunters. Um, they're doing great. I can actually see like a lot more beds now and fish. It's a little bit cloudy, so it's kind of dark, but I can see more, so that's all that matters. These are some pretty big bluegill for here at least. I usually don't catch these big ones, but I guess you get big mamas when you're they're on beds. See you later. Oh yeah, he crushed it. There we go. Boom. That's big mama right there. Just hammering these gills like you're just some absolute slabs. Look at this guy. Like, oh they like to flop though a lot. Like that's the thing about bluegill. Oh there he is. Oh my gosh dude. There's like 50 of them. I just tossed it in there and they all like look at it and then one of them's like I'll be the one to bite it now. And he gets crushed. Look at that. He's like the size of my hand. And he flopped again. You know, you can, yeah, there. Figure, figure it out yourself. Let's see if we can get another one out of that same pack. Give it a little jiggle. Oh, he's coming for it. There's like four of them looking at it. He crushed it, but I failed the hook set. He stole my worm too. All right, let's try this, guys. No worm in my hook. Will they still bite it? Because it's just pretty aggressive right now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Literally didn't even have a worm. And I almost... <laughs> I think they're biting the weight. That's why I'm not hooking them. So they're probably biting the weight, not the hook. But I'm still determined to do, catch one without a worm. So we're doing this for the memes, guys. Oh yeah, there we go. I got him without the worm. Literally caught this fish without a worm. Just, just a bare hook and I got this bluegill. It's actually probably my biggest one of the day too. Without a worm. That's how you do it. Like, that's how easy it is, guys. Just too easy out here. See you later, bud. He's got it. I'm going to let it eat it. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's actually a big one. What the heck? 
Dude, just sight fishing these guys. You gotta love sight fishing. Even if it's for bluegill, just like sight fishing is... Oh my, I can't even handle these guys. They're just too floppy, but that's okay. Uh, oh, there he is. Get at him. Nice. nice little bluegill right there. Dude, I'm just hammering these guys. I don't even know what to say because I'm catching the same exact fish like 50 times. But I hope it's entertaining to you guys for the like 50 of you that watch. I appreciate... He flopped. I appreciate you guys. Don't think that I don't appreciate you. He's gonna eat it. Oh yeah, he instantly. I just knew that one was gonna eat it. Like you can just see them and just know they're gonna eat it. Just kidding. I just I just completely guessed, but it worked. Anyways, we're not gonna talk about that, guys. I caught a bluegill. Gonna put him right back on his bed. See you later, bud. Oh yeah, he got it. He's got it. Yep. So he was just like, I just knew he was aggressive because he's just chasing another bluegill off his bed. So I was like, he's obviously got to eat my worm, and he did. Very territorial. Put you right back in your bed, bud, and go do your thing. We're taking a break from fishing because, you know, you can only catch so much bluegill. Doing some disc golf. I suck at... Actually, I'm, I was good at throwing frisbees. But probably not anymore. It, definitely not for this. I have to, like, curve around a tree. Like, who can do that? Only took, like, 50 throws. All right. Got to curve it. See my frisbee skills. Oh. It's the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I somehow managed to throw it like in a swamp land, but we're gonna try to get it. Can we get it guys? Oh my gosh, I actually almost got it. Okay guys, I'm actually doing an outro on the day that I filmed this video. So that's a new step for me. We're making some big movements in this world right now, guys. We're doing great. Had a lot of fun. Got to meet someone new, fish with someone new. That's always fun. Great time adventuring. Just spawn fishing bluegill. Like who would have thought I was gonna do that today? I didn't think I was gonna be actually like sight fishing them on beds, but that was pretty sweet. They were pretty big, honestly, for out of here. You usually don't catch much bigger bluegills than that. So a lot of fun. If you guys wanna see more bluegill fishing videos, just let me know in the comments down below because I can definitely make that happen for you. And if you enjoyed this one, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always folks, fish with passion.